Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinicals as Adam programming. In this video, we will see how to create a derived parameter in an Adam BDS dataset. So in this video, we will see how to create mean arterial pressure, which is a function of systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure as part of vital signs data. So here we have some example text provided in the statistical analysis plan. It says systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure and mean arterial pressure will be summarized by visit. And we are also told that mean arterial pressure is the average arterial pressure throughout one cardiac cycle, systole and diastole. So it is providing us the definition of mean systolic mean arterial pressure and then it also says MAP is calculated as MAP is equal to systolic blood pressure which is nothing but the value of systolic blood pressure plus two times the diastolic blood pressure divided by three. So we are being given the algorithm to create the mean arterial pressure. So Note that systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure are collected in the data and mean arterial pressure is a new data point that needs to be derived in the analysis data set. So the decision needs to be taken whether it needs to be added as a variable or it needs to be added as a row in the analysis data set. So the implementation guide for Adam says there are certain rules that guide user on when to add an analysis data point as a row and when to add it as a column of which the rule 5 says a function of more than one parameter should be added as a new parameter. In this scenario our analysis data point which is mean arterial pressure is a function of more than one parameter which is systolic blood pressure comes as a parameter or a test CD for us and diastolic blood pressure comes as another parameter or test. So mean arterial pressure is a parameter of more than one other parameters. So we need to add it as a new parameter in the Adam data set. The complete programming for this lesson can be found in the description link. So now we will see the input data set for this. So the core input data for this lesson is our vital signs data. So if we see we have data collected in terms of diastolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure at different time points. So we need to use this data and then create our new data point using the values collected for diabp and systolic blood pressure on a particular day. Now let us go to the specification and see how it is written. So we have the derivation algorithm provided for a few Adam related variables and let's go through them one by one. The first one is ADT. So it says again as we are creating a new parameter the specification is divided into two components on majority of the variables. For ADT, for the first component which says for the source parameters, it says extract the date portion from VSDTC which is from SDTM vital science data set and convert it into numeric format. And for the derived parameters, it says retain it from the corresponding source records because we are creating a new parameter based on systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure on this newly created row and parameter. So we are being asked to retain the value from the source systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure dates. And we have this param variable. Again, the specification is divided into two, com two components for this. It says for source parameters. So we are being asked to populate it with the prop cased values of VS position concatenated with VS test and also the units. And it again says create a derived parameter called sitting mean arterial pressure in terms of MMHG using the source parameter sitting systolic blood pressure and sitting diastolic blood pressure. So we are being asked to create a new parameter and use the value of sitting mean arterial pressure on this newly created record using the values from systolic and diastolic blood pressure. And then for param CD we are being asked to 
populate it as STSBP for systolic blood pressure in sitting position and similarly it is being asked to populate it as STDBP when it is diabp and sitting position and for the derived parameter sitting mean arterial pressure we are being asked to populate it as stmap and then we have the another important variable as per adam ig 1.1 please note that this variable has been deprecated in adam ig 1.2 and adam ig 1.3 so you will no longer find a param type variable in the new if you are following new Adam standard 1.2 and 1.3. So on this newly created param CD STMAP we are being asked to populate it as derived. And then we have a val variable which is analysis value. On the source records we are being asked to carry forward the value from VS STRESN which is the standard result numeric format uh, result for the parameters. So and again for the newly created parameter we are being given the algorithm. So it says transpose the data such that systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure values at a particular time point are present as columns. So we are being asked to transpose the data such that STV, SPP and STDBP are on a single record at a particular time point. And then create the eval for STMAP or the main arterial pressure with the formula provided here. STSBP plus 2 times STDBP divided by 3 and then we are also being asked to round the resulting value to 2 decimals. So this is the specification for our lesson. So now let us take a look at the final data set that we are going to create or let's try to manually create for one case. So here is an example. Uh, case that we are going to build manually. So we have systolic blood pressure collected and diastolic blood pressure correct collected and as per the derivation algorithm provided we need to create a new parameter which is the third parameter. So and we need to it has to be created at each collection of systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure. So we are creating a new parameter called STMAP. So let us highlight this row with a different color such that it becomes visually clear that we are creating a new parameter. So STMAP. So on this record we are asked to populate the param CD as STMAP. So we are doing that similarly. We are being asked to populate it as sitting mean arterial pressure and the unit is mmhg. So we can populate it. So on this newly created record we were asked to populate it as derived. So how will we know whether a particular if you are following 1.1 Adam IG so how will we know whether a record or a the param CD on a particular record is a derived parameter or the collected parameter. So we'll be able to differentiate it based on the value and param type. It would be null on the source parameters and it would be populated with, with the value of derived in uh, param type variable on the derived parameter records. So the rule, the formula was 122 multiplied plus 2 multiplied by 74 divided by 3. So I have it pre-calculated. Let me quickly go there and try to find the value. It says 90. So let us put the value 90 here. So we need to programmatically create this record and append it to the source record after converting the existing AGTM variables into Adam related analysis variables. So we will now see how to programmatically derive this. Let us move to the program. So here we are making a copies of the vital signs data set and demographics data set. And then we are creating variables and parameters which are directly based on source records. So we are creating param cd and param based on the specification algorithm given. So using some simple if then else conditions. And param is also created here based on the algorithm provided. And we are extracting the date portion from VSDTC and then converting it into numeric format 
and then for the so these are all like the records which are coming from the source data set or source parameters so we are assigning the result as a copy of vsstr esl and then we are moving on to the programmatic derivation of mean arterial pressure so what we are trying to do here is where there can be other parameters in the vital signs data set but for the derivation of mean arterial pressure we know it only systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure so we are subsetting those two parameters and then as we need systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure side by side to apply the formula provided we are transposing that data based on the specified set of bivariables at a particular time point u sub j d a d t visit num visit and then we are using id statement and we have specified param cd variable on that statement so what will happen with this is we will get the newly created column names with the values based on the present in the param cd variable and we are transposing the result values of say stsbp and stdbp and then we are applying so once we do this so we do get stspp and stdbp as variables and we are checking for the presence of a result in those two variables and applying the formula provided to us and also we were asked to round it to two decimals so we are using round function to round it to two decimals and then on this newly created record we are assigning the param cd param and param type so after that we are combining this data set to our source records or source parameters and then we are creating our param and variable so this is how we can create our map so let us go through the intermediate data sets that are created as part of this programming so we have created vs01 and as a copy of vs so after that we have created vs02 in which we have translated the information from source sgtm variables into adam related variables that is we have created param cd param edt and eval and then we have subsetted the required records for systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure only but sorted it based on the required order in map01 and map02 was so let's go back and check what was done in map02 so map02 is the transpose data set so map02 we have for each time point for subject per time point which is visit number one and screening on 15th april we have fetched the systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure values onto a single record using transpose and after that we have applied the formula provided to us and then created the eval and also assigned other required variables like param cd param and param type and then we combined our map03 to the source parameter which we have already derived and kept in vs02 to create a new data set named vs03 so we have our newly created record appended to the source record and then we had our final output in the final data set so this is how we can create a new parameter in adam data sets when the analysis warrants you to create a parameter so basically we have covered the rule 5 and what exactly is rule 5 and how to create a new parameter based on the algorithm provided so keep watching and continue learning